Good afternoon everyone. Today's the day I've been putting off and putting off and I have to get things done now. I am in my garage and I gotta clean this mess up. My workbench that you can't even barely even see there, that's a portable bench. It's on wheels so I can move it around with so the chop saw and the band saw and all that other stuff on there. Of course, Vicky's got a plan on there. And this first set of shelves here, there's two sets of shelves here. I'll move to more. This set of shelves is getting pulled out and everything's getting transferred either to my shop or the other set of shelves that's behind me. Most of that stuff's going to the shop because it doesn't need to be here in the house. And then I have a Jeep body back here that I started on two years ago, which I haven't been able to get back to. That is going to go right where them set of shelves are. And then that bench will go there and there's toolboxes sit in front of the bench. That'll free up all of this area in here so I can have another four foot of room to work in. That will free up about four feet of area in my garage here to give me a lot more room to work. And then uh, I'm hoping to have this all done in about an hour, which it shouldn't take me maybe about an hour, to pull all this apart, figure out what I'm gonna do with everything, and then uh, I am going to my shop and start up lawnmowers and get everything moved around and get the lawnmower that needs to have the head gaskets done I bring that back and get started on that probably tomorrow. Um, it's supposed to be like 48 degrees tomorrow with rain all day so it'll be a perfect day to get things uh, getting started on things and then it's my pro my main projects for the winter is I have to get this garage completely cleaned up. I'm just tired of the clutter it's been here forever and I just got to get rid of all of the clutter. So, uh, and in between getting the garage cleaned up, getting rid of all the clutter, I got to finish everything in the house that needs to be done. And then I can see one thing that I also have to do. That light right there quit working. I change a bulb and it still doesn't work. So I have to figure out, it's probably a broke wire or something come unhooked or something like that. And I just... I keep leaving that lid open to remind me I have to fix that and I just never get around to fixing it. So, so hopefully this week I'll get everything all fixed or actually get started on fixed because I'm not going to order any parts until I get the engine tore down just because I might have to order a bunch of parts. So we'll just see how that all works out probably tomorrow maybe. I guess I'm going to start uh, ripping this garage apart. Okay, she's not very clean, but I got everything shoved around and all this stuff is going to my shop. And I got enough room to get both lawnmowers in here, but I'm only going to bring in one because I only want to do one at a time. So I guess I'm going to go to the shop now and we'll do some cold starts. Okay, I got the trailer outside the shop just so she don't smoke too much. Let's see if she'll start.
That was one. Let's go see what the other one will do. Okay, we're at the car wash. I'm gonna get you set up so you can somewhat see what I'm doing here and try not to get the camera wet. It's gonna be tough. Instead of the grime and grease and grime is off of this engine. Oh, I'll have a little bit of cleanup when I get her into the shop, but uh, other than that, it's pretty clean. So uh, let's go unload her now. Okay, now hopefully this thing will start again. Let's see what happens. And yes, it is dark out.
Okay, got that part done. Now I'll go back to the shop and unload everything else. Okay, the whole time I've been gone, I've had the mower on the battery charger, so it'll be a little bit more power for it to start. So uh, let's get her started up and parked where she's going to be for a while. Okay, after hurrying and trying to get everything done, I forgot to put the thatcher on the trailer. So I guess I'm gonna have to throw it in the pickup now. But <clears throat> so, because those bars have to move in a couple inches on each side in order for it to work on my mower now. So I have to get that home. Okay, here we go. Okay, back in my garage. I still have a lot of stuff to clean up yet. I gotta get rid of all this junk right here and get rid of all that junk there. Uh, some of it's gonna go in the shop, some of it's just gonna get moved elsewhere it's around the garage, I think, or get moved out in the storage shed, I think. I'm not sure, but um, here is my thatcher, and as you can see, what the problem is right there is. If I move this bar instead on the outside of here, move it to the inside, it should miss this tire. So it should be all good. And then somehow, I haven't quite figured it out yet, but I have to mount a winch on the front of that, which I want to be able to just take it on and off. So I'll have to figure out how to do that yet. But that's uh, after I get the engine all fixed. There's still some grime and everything in there that I missed, but eh. It'll clean up when it's all done, but it's better than it was. So, got yeah, like most of it. Right. So, make some more room in this uh, garage area. It won't should be a problem. It take me probably about two hours, and I should have it all done. Depends on if it rains tomorrow or not. If I get anything hauled to the shop, but hopefully it doesn't rain too much, and I get a bunch of the stuff hauled out. So, and some of the stuff's gonna get thrown away. But so. Uh, that's going to be the end of my video for today. Everybody have a good evening, and we will see you at the next yard.